Let's take a moment to remember the names of the dead. Storm and Norman, Hermes, Speedy Gonzalez, Starlight, and Spike. These are the names of the innocent ones, the ones who died needlessly, my daughter's hermit crabs. This happened about 12 years ago on a summer vacation to the beach with my daughters, Claire and Simone, who were in elementary school at the time. They dragged me into one of these seaside tourist shops. So you know the ones, they sell things like bikinis, boogie boards, body oil, black velvet Elvis posters, and hermit crabs. The kids went nuts when they saw the hermit crabs. Daddy, we gotta get one. And I looked at the kids and I looked at the hermit crabs, and the hermit crabs were pretty cute. They got these little buggy eyes on stalks, you know, and little funny fingers. Um, but, you know, it's not like we needed any more pets. We had two dogs, a cat, um, a hamster, an aquarium full of guppies, and two birds, and an iguana. So I said, oh, God, kids, you know, it's, it's one more thing to take care of. And just then, the, the, the clerk from the store came up to me and he said, Oh, no, sir, they're no trouble at all. All you need is a daily spritz of water, some dry food, and a wet sponge, and they'll be fine. I've got 20 of them at home. I looked at my kids. What are you doing? I looked at my wife. She said, I'm not taking care of them. So I said, OK, kids, but you really got to take care of them. So we were um, ringing up, ringing up the, the, the hermit crabs. And you know they weren't really expensive, so I thought there's not much skin in the game with this thing. You know, um, They die, it's no problem. And they came with a little plastic case as well, which you could use as a habitat. Uh, and as we were ringing them up, my daughter came up to me with a, a book and she said, Daddy, we should buy this book too. And I looked down and it said, How to Care for Your Hermit Crab. And I looked at it and it was fifteen ninety five, which was like you know, twice the price of the hermit crabs themselves. So I said, well, we don't need a book. She said, we don't? I said, nah, you know, when I was a kid, this is the when I was a kid, sorry. When I was a kid, we had a dog, you know, and we never once took him to the vet. And he lived to be 17 until he died of cancer. But, um, uh, so I said, you know, we don't, we're not going to get the book. We'll just take him home, and I'll show you when we get home. So when we got home, I kind of jury-rigged a habitat for them using an old dish pan and some beach sand, you know. And, and the hermit crabs flourished, actually, for quite a while. They scurried about. They were really fast. So my kids named them Sp Speedy Gonzales and Hermes. So, you know, they, they, they were okay for a while. But then, you know, summer turned into fall, turned into winter, and they started slowing down. So um, um, one day, my wife and I were lying in bed, and we heard this scream come from my daughter's room. Daddy, Speedy Gonzales is dead. I said, oh, my God. So we went running in there. And I looked up, and Claire was holding Speedy Gonzales like this. And, and I said, what did you do to him? You didn't take care of him. I said, no, I didn't do anything, Dad. So I picked him up, and I kind of jiggled him, and he was, he was dead all white, right? So she said, what are we going to do with him, Daddy? And I said, well, we, we could bury him. Or, now this is going to sound really crazy, but there's a precedence for it. I said, we could put him in a bottle of isopropyl alcohol. And she said, what? I said, yeah, yeah, and just like Grandpa. And my dad lived in Arizona at the time, and he lived in a retirement community. <clears throat> and he found a little uh, horn toad, which he put in a bottle of alcohol, and he sent to my daughter, because he found it's you know, dead in, in their swimming pool. So she thought that was kind of a cool idea. So we did that. We put in the isopropyl alcohol. And uh, she put it on her desk. It looked kind of cool floating there. <clears throat> so a couple weeks later, um, you know, we hear this scream coming from uh, Simone's room, and she says, Daddy, Hermes is dead. I said, oh my God. So I, I went in and I said, God, you kids aren't taking, you, taking care of these animals. They're just popping off. So, you know, uh, but we took Hermes and we put him in a bottle as well, you know. And so now they both had him. And the, and the kids kind of thought this was cool, having their pets in a little bottle by them. Um, and they do look pretty cool in death, you know, just like kind of floating like a specimen in your biology class. So. Um, you know, I said, no more pets. But then, you know, a couple months later, I'm in the mall with my daughter, and we go into a pet store. They just got a shipment of hermit crabs. <laughs> and so we came home with two new family members, which the girls named Storm and Norman and um, Starlight, because my daughter was in the Little Ponies at the time, mm -hmm. My Little Ponies at the time. So these two flourished, actually, for about two years. They, 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 they kept on. They were pretty vibrant, you know. And then, um, you know, after about two years, they, the kids played with them less and less, you know. And, uh, uh, one day, uh, we heard this scream coming from Claire's room, and it was, um, it was um, uh, Starlight. Starlight had died. So, you know, I said, 
uh, God, I can't believe you get, what are you kids doing to this? You know, they're low maintenance, but you're killing off the hermit crab. So, you know, we took Starlight, put him in a bottle with the others. And uh, of course, Storm and Norman couldn't be by himself, so we bought another one to replace him. And this one was Spike, and Spike, because he had a spiky shell. So, you know, a uh, couple months, couple months, more months pass, you know, and eventually Storm and Norman kicks off. And I just scream, I go up, you know, and there's Norman dead. And, um, uh, you know, we were all kind of broken up about Storm and Norman because he was really cute. He was really fast, and little buggy eyes. Um, so this time when I put him in the bottle, we had a little ceremony for him. Uh, you know, everybody said something sweet about Norman. And then, you know, a couple more month, months passed and there was only Spike left. And it was getting near the end of school year. And, um, you know, we were all very busy. And then I hear this, one day we wake up, you know, and uh, well, I hear Simone scream and Spike is dead. So, uh, you know, it was a very busy day. We were getting ready to go out to school. Kids, end of this school year, kids had projects. And so I just picked Norman's pan, dish pan up and I put him in the garage. Uh, and I said, I'm going to bury him tonight or put him in a bottle of alcohol when I get home tonight. But I completely forgot about him. Now you'd think that a hermit crab in a, in a garage, hot garage, would start smelling pretty ripe after a couple of days. But he didn't and, that, and that's why I forgot about him. I didn't, didn't smell anything and, and he actually, Spike was in there for about a month and no smell. Um, and then one day I came home from work and my, I walked into the house, the kids pounced on me and they said, Daddy, Daddy, Spike's alive. <laughs> and I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> And they said, yeah, uh, you know, we came home, and my wife said, we came home and uh, we heard this noise in the garage and we thought it was mice. And we looked around and we saw Spike, he was rattling around in his cage. And I, 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 they showed me Spike was alive. And Claire said, yeah, Daddy, he must have molted because there were all these little bits of shell and, 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 and claws like lying in his pen. And my other daughter said, um, yeah, that's, they hibernate. <laughs> and I said, hibernate. Hibernate? Crabs hibernate. I stood there, my, my heart started pounding because I said, you know, Storm and Norman, Hermes, Starlight, Speedy Gonzales, they, they didn't die, they were just hibernating. And while they were hibernating, I pulled them out of the shells and I dropped them into a bottle of isopropyl alcohol <laughs> and killed them. And it wasn't much better that night because we went out to dinner with my babys our babysitter for the kids at the time. And I was telling her this story and she said, of course hermit crabs hibernate, you idiot. And I said, how did you know that? She said, I read it in a book. And I said, what book? He said, you know one of those kinds that you get at pet stores that tell you how to care for your pets? Thank you. Mm -hmm.